Sage One Payroll makes processing employee pay simple and easy. When you log in, the payroll summary screen shows you a summary of the current payroll status. If you process weekly pay, you can check the summary information here. And if you process monthly pay, you can check it here. It also provides a quick way of generating the P32 employer payment record, which shows total payments made to HMRC for the most recent month and for the most recent quarter. Let's process weekly pay by clicking the Process Pay Run button. This brings you into the Pay tab, where, as you can see, the Pay Run involves four steps. Get Started, Record Absences, Edit Pay, Confirm Pay. You don't need to complete these steps fully in a single session. Your work is saved automatically, so you can return to the pay run to add more information before finally completing the pay run. The first step is get started. Make sure that the pay date is correctly specified. You can change it if necessary. Click Next to move on to the next step. You've now reached the Record Absences step. Here you can record the absences taken by employees in this pay run. The employees who belong to this pay run are listed down the left. Click an employee's name to record an absence for them. Then with the employee open, hover over the Add Absence drop-down. You can see that a number of absence types are available. Sage One Payroll fully supports the types of statutory pay that go with some of these absence types. In this example, let's select Sickness. The Add Sick Leave window opens. Fill in the necessary information. Then click Save. The employee's sickness absence is now listed. When you've recorded the necessary absences, click Next to move on to the next step. You've now reached the Edit Pay step. This is where you add payments and deductions to the employee's payslip for the current pay run. Payments are colored green. Deductions are colored blue. As before, employees are listed down the left. Click an employee to work on their pay. To add a payment to the selected employee's pay, hover over Add Payment and then select one of the payments you have already created. Or select Add a new payment if the payment you need has not yet been set up. You can add deductions to the employee's pay in the same way. You can also set up new deductions if necessary. By the way, you can also set up payments and deductions when you're not working on a pay run simply by clicking the Settings button. When you're ready to move on to the next step, click Next. You've now reached the Confirm Pay step. Check the information on this screen. It details the net pay values for your employees. It also specifies the total company cost, including employer taxes and pension contributions. The Pay Trends graph helps you to see if there are any changes in the net pay or cost values in the current pay run compared to recent ones. This might indicate that an error has been made. You can also preview the employee pay slips and view the detailed pay run report before you finish processing the pay run. When you've finished entering pay information for this pay run, click Complete Pay Run. Then click Confirm. This sends pay information to Sage One accounts and it also moves the system on to the next pay run. The completed pay run screen opens. Here you can print reports and pay slips. You can also record your monthly and quarterly payments to HMRC. This concludes the demonstration. You have processed a pay run for employees.